Laura Trump, RNC co-chair. Laura, you know, you guys since 2015, since he came down the escalator, have battled fake information and yet with less money than everybody else have come out on top most times. Yeah, and honestly, this stuff should shock no one. Uh, you just played some of the greatest hits there from Adam Schiff. When does he get his day? When is he ever accountable for any of the lies that he told? And the problem, Carl, with NPR, with all the left-leaning media, is that people actually believe this stuff, and it is very detrimental to our mm. country. And you see that evidenced every single day. Yes, if you want to look at a family, and I'll say a man in Donald Trump, who has had nothing but misinformation and disinformation, as they like to say on the other side of the aisle, thrown at him every single day. I mean, there's never been anyone in history, I don't think, that has taken as much incoming as Donald Trump. And yeah. yet every day it feels like we are vindicated in so many spaces because at some point, Carl, the truth ultimately comes out. This stuff is really scary, but what you said at the very end there, I think is right. People are starting to wake up because you can only lie to people for so long. You can only tell people for so long. Things yeah. are going great. Your life is going well when people know full well something is off, something isn't right. And when the rubber meets the road and it really impacts people day to day in their everyday life, they do start to wake up. Yeah, I mean, even DJT posted to Truth Social about NPR. He said, no more funding for NPR, liberal disinformation machine. Yeah, these were the same people, Laura, who pushed the, you know, very fine people on both sides but only played the first five seconds of the soundbite. And there are actually people, to your point, that believe that Donald Trump was calling neo-Nazis very fine people, even if you listen five seconds longer, he says, not the neo-Nazis. Yeah, that's exactly right. But this is this is the game they play. And everyone should pay attention because it is not hyperbole to compare what's going on in this country right now to countries like, you know, Russia, like China with state run news. That is what you get whenever you have a stranglehold on the mass media and what people are, are receiving in terms of information. Mm -hmm. And you're not giving them real information. You're giving them a slanted viewpoint. I think it was 87 to zero Democrats, Republicans in this NPR newsroom. That is very problematic. It is very detrimental to a country. And, and I can tell you, uh, we're paying close attention to it at the RNC. I think what we've all learned over the past eight years since mm -hmm. Donald Trump really exposed a lot of this is we have to attack things in a bit of a different way. We're never going to get a fair shake from these people, so we have to go around them. And the great news is we have one of the all-time great communicators in Donald Trump himself. And if you ever have to, uh, if you ever wonder what he's thinking, he will tell you. Yes. You never have to think twice about it. That is what I love about it. But also, I this is something I saw this. I did not see this coming. The once anointed by the media, the leftist Michael Avenatti did an interview from prison of all places. He has done like a 180 on MSNBC last night. Listen to this. I think what I'm about to say is going to surprise a lot of people. And that is that, um, you know, I think this is the wrong case at the wrong time, Ari. Um, I, I think that the case is in many ways stale at this juncture. You're talking about conduct that occurred some eight years ago. Uh, I think the uh, fact that it's occurring in state court in New York uh, is a mistake. Uh, and I think that when you are going to uh, potentially deprive tens of millions of Americans uh, of their choice for the presidency of the United States, but Laura, you know, this for him to come around and say that, I mean, that would like Stormy Daniels was once his client. Right. You know, and that's the crazy thing about it, Carl. That's how he got famous was because he represented Stormy Daniels. Something else he said in that prison interview that he gave is, you know, what I found out is a lot of information Stormy Daniels told me as her own attorney was false and bad information. So I went out on TV to represent her and a lot of it was a bunch of lies. But one of the things he said there I think is very important because he's exactly right. Their attempt right now to depri deprive the American public of their choice of president of the United States is very concerning. That, Carl, is what you call election interference. And whether it's Letitia James, whether it's Alvin Bragg, whether it's Fannie Willis, whether it's Jack Smith, the goal of all of these things is to interfere in an election. That should never be happening yeah. in the United States of America. Yet another Marxist communist attempt uh, to, you know, change our country for the worst. It's terrifying.